is your video that you've just uploaded to YouTube stuck in 360p really, really frustrating? And I think I've got a workaround. Hey guys, just a really quick how to video on the best way to get your video at the best possible quality onto YouTube as early as possible. There's nothing worse when you've put all that effort into racing. I do racing, some people do other types. This applies to all videos. And the overlays you've put on, have a look at that. I can barely read it. Have a look at that. Not even readable. I look at my phone and it compresses the text a little bit. It's barely readable. But some people watch on TV, some watch on tablets, and you just you just can't read that. Now I'm gonna show you how I've worked around it. Now when I upload a video, I have very little time from the upload to when I have to go to work first thing in the morning. It's like 45 minutes and I've got to go have a shower, get ready for work. I've got to make my lunches. Pete gets up, I've got to get him ready. And time is very critical. And if I've got like a 45 minute race, it takes a long time to process. So once I've uploaded the file and gone through, done my descriptions, which this is all standard, thumbnails, tags, and all of the other information that you can put in, put in as much as you can so that as many people as possible can find your video. Once you've done that, this is in the YouTube studio, April, 2020. So it might change by the time you watch this. Click on next and go to video elements. Now there's two things here, add an end screen and add cards. The first one for adding an end screen doesn't really matter. I add an end screen to all my videos though. And uh, that's the, the buttons and the subscribe button that you see at the end of the video. Uh, how do we get out of that? Then the next one is add cards. Now you don't necessarily have to add a card, but this is the best way to find out if your video is at maximum resolution. I do 1080p, but you might do a different resolution and you want <clears throat> YouTube to update that as soon as possible. When you first upload a video and down here it says SD, finish processing, you'll find that that's only in 360p. Um, that is the easiest way for the YouTube servers to render your video and get it into the public as early as possible. But when you watch a YouTube video, you'll find that you can have multiple resolutions and it takes time for the YouTube servers to render in all different resolutions to suit the person watching your video. So this is how I find out if I've got maximum rendering in my video. You click on add. It brings up a screen from the former uh, YouTube studio. Uh, they're still using this for the ad card. And this is how I tell. Now put your mouse over the, your video and you can see down here that little cog. When that says HD there, you've got full rendering. It's done it in as many resolutions as possible. Over time, <clears throat> it might do some more resolutions, but it looks like in the 15 minutes that it's taken me to upload this, I've got everything there. Um, but you'll find when you first have the processing finished sign down here, finish processing, when you go to the add screen, that HD symbol's not there. And when you click on the cog, it'll only show 360p. And that's my tell. So <clears throat> I'll upload my video, put my details in, get ready for work. And just before I leave work, I'll go to the add card screen, click on the cog, or even just put my mouse over it. And if that says HD, beautiful. You can then go to next and then publish it any way you want. I've watched a lot of videos on this and everyone just says to wait. No one in the videos that I've watched has had a solution 
or a resolution. This is not a cheat or anything like that. It is very true. You need to wait, but that add card screen, that will tell you whether your video has uploaded. If you publish too early, I've had to wait 36 hours for my video to fully render on the YouTube servers. And what I'm assuming is if you publish too early, you go to the back of the queue, where if you stay in YouTube studio without publishing, you're given priority of rendering. Um, I hope this has helped guys. Thanks to everyone who subscribed lately. I really appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Dan, if you didn't, make sure you subscribe. Check me out on the links over there. There's uh, links in the description down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.